I am starting to sweat like crazy. Ah, the air feels so good. Family size fun. Hey guys, so we have been watching the news and we have some, seen some uh, terrible stories about people leaving their kids in the car uh, and then the cars get really hot really quick, which in Florida, this is a, you know, a very major issue. Um, so I wanted to do an experiment. I just brought the kids up to the park, so they're gonna go play. But I am gonna stay in the car. And I went and I got a handy dandy little thermometer. Uh, and then I have my other phone that I'm gonna use as a timer. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna shut the car off and then keep track of how quick and how hot the car gets. Uh, to, just so people can see exactly uh, how bad it can get and how quick. Okay, so we are ready to get started. I just went up to, I turned the air down now, but I've been cranking the air conditioning. So the car is currently, and I don't know if you could read this, 69 degrees, 69.1 degrees. And outside, if you can read that, it is 91 degrees. So not a super hot day in Florida, but it's probably a hot day for most of the rest of the country. So I am going to start the timer on my other phone. I'm gonna stick this up here. So it's 91 degrees out. We've got that thermometer. We're gonna stick it right there. And then I'm going to take my other phone over here, which I have hooked into the charger. And I'm gonna set the timer. And then I'm gonna turn the car off. And we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm making sure that the family is right over there so the kids are playing on the swing set. And I do have water on here, so if you left someone in the car, they wouldn't have the benefit of water. But, um, at least we can see how hot it gets and how quick I get uncomfortable. Let me find the clock on here. Clock, 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 clock. I finally found my timer on here. For some reason, they changed the, uh, the way that app looks. So I have it set on timer. Actually, stopwatch. We'll put it on stopwatch. I'm gonna put that right over here on the dashboard so you can see where I'm keeping my stopwatch. And you can see that it is uh, 69 degrees in here and 91 degrees outside. So I'm going to hit start on the timer and I am going to shut the car off. Now we'll see how it goes. So we are 10 seconds in. Uh, just turning off the air instantly feels warmer. I'm sure you've been in a car, shut off the air, and then you're instantly warmer. So we're 20 seconds in. It is already up to 72 degrees in here. So we are a half minute in, and we've already gone up three degrees. That's pretty quick. Turn the camera around a little bit so you can see a little better. So we are reaching one minute in. After one minute, it is already 73 degrees in here. So one minute, it has already gone up four degrees. 73, it's still plenty cool in here. 73.1, then it was 73.2, 73.9. You can see how quick it is. I'm going to take my seatbelt off. So we are a minute and a half in. Minute and a half, and we are almost to 74 degrees. Uh, 73.9. So we've gone up almost four degrees in a minute and a half. Up oh, there it goes, 74.8. And we are at only a minute 40. So pretty quick. It's a little cloudy today, so the sun keeps going behind the clouds. So we are two minutes in, and the car is 74, 75, and it's not even sunny out. Actually, it's really cloudy. The sun went behind the clouds, uh, so that should make it so it doesn't get quite as hot quite as quick, which is good. So it could be even worse. So we are two and a half minutes in. 
Almost. We'll check in every minute or two and see how quick it gets hot. Now, I had to look around. They had a bunch of these thermometers. Um, most of them only go up to 120. I had no idea how hot it's going to get in here. Uh, so I got one that goes up to 140. Don't know if we'll need that extra 20 degrees, but we will soon find out. We are almost four minutes in. Four minutes right... Now, so at four minutes, we have gone up nine degrees. Still 78, not too bad. It's definitely feeling a little muggy in here. A little humid. It's getting a little tougher to breathe, but not bad. So I think it's actually maybe warmer than that 79. But we will see how it keeps rolling. Maybe I'll put this up here let's see five minutes and it is 80 degrees in here tough to see in the light it's 80 degrees so it is getting hot quick we've gone up 11 degrees in five minutes and that's kind of if you were to just run in and do a quick errand it would probably be about five minutes. So you get an idea of the different activities you might do and how quick your pets or your children will start to heat up. And, you know, if a child gets left in a car, I'd imagine they get quite upset. So if they start crying, their, their temperature is probably going up even quicker than what is happening here. There, we'll put it up on the mirror. It'll be easy if you can read it. So we're at 84 degrees. We're at 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Starting to feel a little warm. Not too bad. Uh, I'm tempted to take my shoes off. Probably should take my shoes off so I don't get them too hard. Too hot. So we are up to 7 minutes. In 7 minutes we are at 86 degrees. So we've gone up 17 degrees in 7 minutes. Starting to feel a little toasty in here. Uh, I, I said earlier it was 91 degrees out, so we're almost up to outside temperature uh, after seven minutes. The sun's back out, so it is getting toasty in here quick. I'm starting to feel a little toasty in here, a little sweaty. Uh, just like sticky, not really sweating yet. We are at seven minutes, almost eight minutes. Uh, and it is about 88 degrees in here. So I wonder where we'll be at 10 minutes. We're almost there. We're two minutes away. So we'll do another check-in then. I did bring a water bottle uh, just so that I would stay healthy while I'm in here and testing this out. So I may actually have... <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little sweaty and hot. I'll take a little drink of that. Now your pets or your children would not have the benefit of unbuckling or having drinks most likely. Uh, so they would be really uncomfortable by now, by eight minutes. Uh, they'd be kind of roasting. Here come the rest of the people to uh, drink water and watch me. They look very well hydrated. Uh, we are getting close to nine minutes in the car. So that'd be like running a quick errand, running into the grocery store. Uh, nine minutes. So nine minutes, we are up to 89 degrees. Uh, what do we start at? 79? No. 69, right? So we're up 20 degrees. Oh, just hit 90. So we're up to 90 degrees after nine minutes. It is starting to feel really hot in here. And really humid, and I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Definitely not comfortable at this point. Let's see where we reach at 10 minutes, and then maybe I'll take a couple minute break to see where this ends up. All right, we are just reaching 11 minutes in the car. 11 minutes. It is 92 degrees in here. Still not horrible. But it is very, very warm feeling, very sweaty. 
We're gonna wait another minute and then we'll check in. Okay, so I have been in here for 17 minutes. I am starting to sweat like crazy. It is 103 degrees in here. Not too sure how much longer I'll stay in here, but it is super hot. You can see I'm sweaty everywhere. I've been in here for 17 minutes. Uh, I think this is probably where it starts to get dangerous for kids, animals, or anybody. It is 104, now, 104 degrees, uh, 17 minutes in. So it is super hot. I am, granted I don't have any hair to capture it, but I am sweating like crazy. I'm soaked, and you can see it on my shirt. It is getting really hot. Actually, the other camera I was using shut off. It said it was too hot for the camera to go. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, first it stopped charging, and then it said it was just too hot for the camera. Whew. Okay, it has reached 20 minutes. And it is, let me take a check here, the thermometer. It is 108 degrees in the car after 20 minutes. It is smoking hot. I'm going to keep drinking water. I've been in heat like this before when we lived in Arizona. Uh, the important thing is to just make sure you drink a lot of water so that I stay safe myself. Even though this is an experiment, I certainly don't want to risk myself. So I'm going to drink some water. If you look at my shirt, I am sweating like absolutely crazy right now. Uh, it is just very, very hot. Hey guys, so it just reached 25 minutes in the car. Uh, I am sweating like crazy on every part of me. My arms, my head, my neck, my shirt. It is extremely hot. It is currently 113 degrees in here after 20 minutes. Uh, I think it was 79... Was it 79 or 60? 69 when we started. So it has gone up 44 degrees. I don't know how good my math still is now that I'm getting all hot. Uh, I've been chugging a lot of cold water. Um, it's a, almost as hot as our hotter days in Las Vegas when we lived there. But, oh, did it just go up to 114? Yep. So it's up to 114 and still climbing. So I'm going to probably stay in here another five minutes, see how hot it gets. This is definitely, so if you went in and did a quick grocery shopping trip or something in 20, 25 minutes, uh, even if you just grabbed a handful of items waiting in line, you'd probably be in this long. Uh, your pets or your children would be in really rough shape right now. They'd be very hot. They'd probably be upset, so they'd probably be uh, getting exhausted. Uh, so let's wait another couple minutes and see how high this temperature actually gets. Hey, guys. Uh, we are almost to 30 minutes, 29 minutes. As you can see, I am sweating like crazy right now. Um, it's been cloudy, so I, it, it, it hasn't been getting, um, too much hotter. I think it is currently 116, so that's probably where we'll end at 30 minutes. Um, so if you ran in for a quick breakfast or something, this is the temperature that whatever you left in your car would be at. Interestingly, I put my phone on the floor and now it's, this one's working again, so I at least have both phones. I have uh, the phone over here, keeping track of the time, which just hit 30 minutes. Oh my God, I'm sweating like crazy. I'm probably going to lose some weight here. You can see my shirt is kind of soaked. Uh, my arm is soaked. My head is dripping. Uh, and we are up to 118 degrees. So at 13 minutes, we reach 118. That was as hot as the hottest days uh, when we lived in Las Vegas. But this is much more humid, so you sweat a lot more. Uh, I have been lucky, though. I've been chugging on some water to stay healthy. I think I'm about done. I don't know if it's going to get much hotter in here, being that it's gotten cloudy. So what I might do is go out, play with the kids. Uh, this thing looks like it's losing its focus. I don't know if that's heat-related. But I might go play with the kids for a little bit, and then uh, I can come back and look in the car and see what the temperature is. It'll probably cool down a little bit when I open the door. Whew, it is hot. Hey, so the kids are running this way. I think they've had enough of the heat outside of the car. So I think, even though we're only at 32 minutes, uh, I think that's long enough to get a good lesson. Uh, please, 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 don't leave your kids in the car. Don't leave your pets in the car. 
I left my kids outside the car. They're all running over now. There's Lauren. There's Ben. There's Mackenzie. Zach. They've been playing at the park. And Ben and Zach have been actually racing each other. So they are probably hotter than I am. But I'm going to... Still alive. <laughs> Mackenzie's concerned for my health. Is the water coming in handy? Very. I've been drinking all the water. Um, let's see what we ended up with. So we ended up at about 118 degrees. I don't know if it will get much hotter than that or not. Um, I think that's plenty hot to do a lot of damage to, to a child. Uh, especially if they're upset and crying. So... Uh, I definitely would say, uh, my wife actually has an app on her phone. Every time she parks a car, and I'll get the name of that app, I'll put it in the comments below. Every time she parks a car, so it senses when she moves, when she stops, it's it an alarm goes off and tells you to double check for the kids. Um, so if you don't have that, I'll put the name of it on. It's not like they sponsor us or anything, but um, having nine kids, uh, we're always concerned about you know, accidentally leaving one behind. So we do whatever we can to remember. Um, it might be even harder to remember if you have less kids, especially just one, because you won't maybe think you dropped them at daycare or something. So um, we're at 33 minutes. We're still at about 118 degrees. Uh, I, I, I don't know if it's going to get any hotter, but this is plenty hot to, to be a problem. So, uh, and as you saw, it got hot quick in the first 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below, and I'm going to go home and take a nice cold shower, and uh, have a great weekend. So I, I was planning to end this, but it looks like the kids ran off, so I am going to start the car and enjoy some air conditioning while I wait for them. As you can see, I'm still sweating like crazy. And it is still at 118 degrees. Whew, it's going up about one or two degrees every couple minutes now. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Uh, the air feels so good. Uh, have a great day. Be safe.